Hi, this is Joy, the cob chick with the Keystone Cottage. If you're like me and you make cob a lot, then you probably have a lot of top tarps that are sitting around dirty. If you live in the country or anything like that, um, if you work outdoors, you probably have a lot of tarps that are sitting around that are need cleaned up. And sometimes you have to wonder, um, when do I call it on this tarp? Um, do I chunk it? Um, is it just too filthy? I don't want to deal with it. Are there tears in it? Is it something salvageable? But anyway, I just want to approach one of the areas as far as how to clean up your tarps because this is a very big deal. Oftentimes we just want to say, okay, uh, I've, I've done what I need to with my cob. I am done. Let me just maybe hose it off and then leave it in the weather to dry and then it gets grody and all this stuff. So what do you do? All right. So I have built a little something that helps me clean my tarps. I hope it is helpful to you as well. I'll show you what I did and feel free to improve upon the idea if that's something that works for you. So behind me right here, we've got a tarp that's pretty bad. You can't see it on video, but it's pretty nasty, pretty grody on both sides. But at the same time, the holes are still functional. Everything is good to go. There's no tears or rips that I'm aware of. So we're definitely gonna be salvaging this tarp and I'm gonna show you what I do. So I have this cleaning bar system rack, um, whatever you wanna call it, that um, hangs from a tree. And then we hook the tarp on it and elevate the tarp in the air. So I started out with this board here, um, purple bowed from Home Depot, 70% off, woohoo. So less than a dollar for that. I have these hooks here that I put periodically. All right, and I did space this um, with a tarp that I have, so it doesn't matter if your tarp doesn't fit exactly. Um, it's okay if there's spaces and this and that, but as long as it's elevated in the air, that's a good thing. I also added these eye bolts on both ends with a rope. All right, so it stretches from both sides into the middle right here. Let me show you what it looks like all together from a distance right there. Okay, and before I forget, it's got these hooks here. Periodically, maybe every foot and a half, every foot, just depends. All right, so here. All right, um, this was actually to mark my center point before I tied this rope onto it. All right, so then it stretches into the air, over the tree limb, and then from here, the rope ties onto that tree over there. And that's how I elevate it into the air. So let me go ahead and hook this up so you can see what I do and how I do it. And maybe you've already got the general idea, and that is good. Okay, so we see this one doesn't want to go to that one. So let's see, let's stretch it over to this one. We'll create a little bit of a bubble, but that's okay. And also, I know that when you hoist it into the air, if you do it too fast, sometimes it'll just take flight and come right off of these hooks. So something to keep in mind, which I think has only happened once. Let me see here. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna put the camera over here and I'm going to Hoist it up and you can see what it looks like. All right, so you don't have to tie it like extra tight to the tree or anything. Um, what I like to use is some kind of cleaner like dish soap. You can do this on the ground or you can do it in the air, whatever works easier for you. Um, and I like to use a broom. So I'll just, let's say, take dish soap or something, just squirt it, psh, 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 psh. Um, and then take a broom and you can scrub it like this or scrub it like this. Let it sit for a little bit. And that dish soap, because of its consistency, it's not so watery, um, you know, it has more of a tendency to stick to it. You can add a little water that smears it around a little bit. Um, and you can just let it sit and soak or whatever cleaner of your choice. Let's see, so you can scrub the front and you can scrub the back, all right? And uh, when you're done letting it soak, rinse it off, scrub it off, whatever you need to do, you can leave it here to air dry. So it's not like you have to worry about flipping the tarp back and forth, back and forth. Now I will let you know, when you're spraying it with the water hose, it will have a tendency to uh, want to move around. <laughs> um, same thing with the wind, if the wind's blowing. So it's going to take flight like a sailboat. Um, I've had quite some uh, 
interesting experiences out here, how that'll like whip you in the side of the head and just, I mean, it's not dangerous. It's just like, whoa, okay, didn't see that coming. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is what I have right here for my tarp. My tarp cleaning system. So you can see right there, it's, it's good ways in the air. Right there, maybe, I don't know, maybe eight feet right there. So not too far, but far enough and plenty of room on the bottom. So it depends on what you want to do. Depends on what system you want to use. Um, if you don't want it to blow around hardly, um, you could use like two pulleys or something like that. But it's, uh, hey, it's whatever you want to do. It's your own design. But thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please hit like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know more of what you want to see. And if you do something like this, I want to know about it. So, all right. Thanks. Bye.